This is your chance. This is your shot. This is your moment. This is your time. This is your place. This is your opportunity. This is my time. This is my moment. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Ain't no such thing as tomorrow. We only got today. It's your dream. If you want to have it, lift your butt up and make it happen. If you want to have it, rise and grind. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field. It's grind season, homie. It's the easiest thing. It's easy to give up. You know, Hell it's yeah. Easy, it's the easiest thing in the world to do. All right, man, I'm, I'm done. Man. It's easy. It's very easy. But what's hard is going, yo, yesterday I got nothing from working as hard as I could. Nothing happened from that. I'm going to do the same thing again today, but I'm going to try to go harder. That's the hardest thing in the world. Don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain. You already hurt. Get a reward from it. I dare you to fail. I dare you to take that same class over and over again. I, I dare you to stop dropping classes like you saw. It's one thing to talk about your destiny. It's one thing to dream about your destiny. But it's another thing to wake up when you know you're supposed to wake up. To write when you don't feel like writing that paper. To say no to that party. Saying no to quit when you still got a hundred more shots to make. Say no when your body said don't stop, but you put in 50 more push-ups. You can't just talk about it. You gotta be about it. But I always feel like if I put my mind to something and I really do the work, I can accomplish something. My primary business is based on a lot of failure and success, right? But it's never for lack of effort. And as long as I do everything I can to do my best, then I feel pretty, pretty darn good about the effort. And sometimes I, I win and succeed, and sometimes I don't. But I always, I always felt like if I didn't do everything I could to prepare, then that's when I had regret, and that's when I felt disappointed in myself. But you know, we, we, we are blessed to be able to have a fresh start every day. You know, you just got to be able to kind of have confidence in yourself and belief in yourself, surrounding yourself with good people. Mental toughness, or what I call x-ray vision, is a lot different than motivation. So if I said right now, everybody in here, we're all going to run a half marathon in five days. And we all going, yeah, we're getting fired up. I said, yeah, we're going to start tomorrow at 5 a.m. We leave. 5 a.m. comes. It's dark. It's cold. Our bed is comfortable. It's hard to get motivated at 5 in the morning. And maybe you do it one day. But again, and again, and again. That is the x-ray vision. It's that mental toughness that says, you know what, I don't care that it's dark, wet, windy, cold. I'm going to go anyway. You have to train your brain by doing things that make you uncomfortable consistently to build this mindset that when things get hard, which they will be, we don't shy away, we don't quit, we attack. I'm seeing through all those walls. I'm getting to where I want to go. If the lion is the king of the jungle, how can he be the king of the jungle? If he's not the biggest, the elephant is probably one of the biggest. He can't be the fastest because that's a cheater. He can't be the smartest. So he's not the biggest, the fastest, or the smartest. So how does the lion become the king of the jungle? His mentality. That's the only difference of a lion and an elephant. When a lion walks up and sees an elephant, he thinks lunch. An elephant thinks run. And it's all mentality. Because when a male lion walks up, he may be outnumbered by a pack of hyenas. But I'm king of my jungle because of my mentality. talks positive about themselves. Everybody talks like you a bees. You dress like you a bees. But then when it's time to do what bees do, you back up. You have an excuse. What's going to separate you is when it's beast time, when it's war time, you got to get up and make it happen. The savage mindset of bees are going bad. Guess what they do? Quitting's out of the question. All they think about is how the f am I going to get through this? Every day you have to do this shit. Because why? When you stop doing it, you don't just maintain it. If you stop shooting a gun, you're not going to be a great shot if you pick a gun up a year from now. 
The only way to keep from getting rusty is to constantly over that mother the machine. The machine exists. You gotta keep challenging it every day. But you gotta crave that end result so intensely that the work becomes irrelevant. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head.